right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to a day in the life of Michael and sports production. I hope you liked that little cool little cinematic that I took. Yeah, welcome to uh, sports production day. For everyone that doesn't know, I do sports production. Sports production meaning everything you see on TV is what we do. So between the broadcast announcers, the camera guys, to the trucks, to how it's produced on TV, between NBA, MLB, college sports, uh, college football, NFL, anything in a bag of chips. I'm gonna take you a little bit behind the scenes of a day in a life of working for Spectrum. Today we're doing San Diego State versus Hawaii this weekend. It's a little bit of a small production. Did CBS last week with San Diego State, but Spectrum this week. Yeah, I'm gonna show you a day in a life behind the scenes and kind of a little bit insight of what it's like being in sports production in the LA market. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give it a follow. I mean, I'll appreciate it a lot. The more you guys do that, the more content that will come. Yeah, we'll show you behind the scenes of the whole stadium and what goes on setting up college football. So I'm walking down the tunnel into the stadium right now. This is where the LA Galaxy play, where the Los Angeles Chargers played actually a year and a half ago before the new stadium was built. Yeah, today's this weekend's production, which today is set day. We're just setting things up, setting cameras up. But for the game tomorrow, which is Hawaii versus San Diego State, we are, yeah, we're shooting the production for Spectrum. We're shooting the Hawaii feed. And I don't really know what else to say. Pretty much the, here's behind the scenes of what it looks like. So this production is actually a really small production. We actually have a producer and a director, but no broadcast announcers. Our broadcast announcers are gonna be from the studio in I think Hawaii. Yeah, I think they're shooting from Hawaii, but a little bit of a different setup. Not, we don't really have to set up that much. And welcome to the stadium. probably want to know is there's five cameras and the way the cameras are set up here's a camera that's not set up yet we actually have a camera down below right there we got another camera right in that corner and then we also have a camera on the side and on the left side so you guys ever wonder about in a broadcast game why the cameras are always centered it's because there's three cameras on the broadcast side and that's how you can see the 50 yard line the 20 yard line and the other 20 yard line so I'll explain a little. So my job is actually a runner and people probably know what a runner is in production and entertainment production, but a runner for sports, you basically can do anything. I look at it as a paid internship. You're getting paid to be everywhere. You get to be in everyone's you know, positions and see how they do it. And if you need something, if they need something, they ask you to do something or broadcast announcers. But college football, um, I'm a runner for. It's a very big production. You kind of got to work your way up in that industry. But for college basketball, WNBA, i am done stage production where I sit with the broadcast announcers. And my goal is to make it up to the director and the producer, which you guys are on my journey right now. So hopefully in the next couple of years, I get up there and I start directing games. And the goal is to direct Lakers and Dodgers. But in the meantime, I got to work my way up and learn. And that's basically how you get into this industry. You just got to learn. No one teaches you anything. You got to ask people for help, ask people how you fix this, how you do this problem, how you make graphics for TV. And I'll show you guys the truck also, but the truck has the director, producer, graphics, AD, producer, a mixer, which does a sound mixer, the bug machine, which does a scoreboard, to color graphers, to replay guys. So all those guys are in the truck. All the other guys, the camera guys, are out on the field and the broadcast announcers and the analysts. So we kind of work under one roof. So it's really kind of cool. You're in communication with everyone and it's kind of neat to do different games every single day. This is what I mean by this second camera, which is not built, so we gotta build it. Here from about 8 a.m. in the morning to five o'clock until we fax it, and I don't know, it's kinda, it's kinda just a relaxed day. Actual game day, which will be tomorrow, you usually have a set day before game day for college football. I mean, you'll be talking to the San Diego State people, getting papers, getting all the graphics ready, and pretty much set day is just setting up all the stuff, setting up set, so. 
once we set that, we can go. I already finished my duties and I'm kind of just waiting on everyone else, monetizing everyone, but yeah, I guess this is kind of cool. Got the galaxy, but I don't really, I kind of like this stadium. I'm not really a big fan of it. It's a little bit old. The new LAFC stadium is actually really nice. This LA Galaxy stadium, I mean, college football has been here, NFL has been here, a bunch of, you know, music awards and a bunch of things, but I, I, I just think it's an outdated stadium. There's a lot better ones. The tunnel, as you can see, I'll show you guys a cool little thing where the LA Galaxy come out. This is where you enter. So this is where the LA Galaxy locker rooms are. So you're probably all asking, you're probably like, Michael, how'd you get into this? Like, what does it pay? What does it do? If you guys actually want to personally DM me and, you know, shoot me messages on Instagram or anywhere, I will happily tell you guys how this whole industry works. Needle in the haystack type of industry, kind of got to know someone to get in from what I've experienced from, but it is a really fun industry. If you guys are sports lovers and love watching sports, but love production, it feels like, doesn't feel like work to me, so. And you guys are probably wondering what's with the mask. So all of these productions are protocoled with COVID restrictions, meaning we all have to get COVID tested. We all have to be negative. We'll have to wear a mask 24 seven. Um, everyone is checked and the stadium won't let you in unless you're negative. So it's really good. It's really nice, but we're all working. We're grinding, trying to make games pop up on TV. That's us. Welcome to our truck. Da, da, da. So welcome to the truck. This is where the producer sits. This is where the director sits. That is the guy that basically pushes all button what you see on TV. And then, this is the bug. The bug is what the scoreboard is on TV. Really super cool. Graphics coordinator goes right there. Music room. And, whoo! Peace truck. Well, good morning guys. I'm sorry I couldn't give you all the content that you guys wanted to see behind the scenes. It is professional. It is, I am working. So it's kind of difficult to do those things and film at the same time, but I did the best I can and more to come in the future when I start doing NBA and all other games, I'll hopefully film and hopefully get access to, you know, give some insight to you guys and teach you. But I would like to give some advice to anyone that likes to get into this industry. If you are still in school, I did go to USC. I was part of the communication journalism school and I did have experience doing internships at Spectrum Sportsnet and working in studio work and working behind the scenes in news and sports. And that kind of got kind of got me familiar with actually what goes on behind the scenes. So if you guys are looking to get into this industry, I do recommend before just jumping right in, getting some experience with camera work, editing, uh, broadcast, you know, put up a camera, make a YouTube channel, do something that you can edit and learn how to do stuff or go intern for a news station. So um, that's some advice. Also for everyone wondering, sports production is only one out of like five things I do. I do have my own company, which is my whistle box. I also produce music. I also went to school for music. So dream of mine is actually putting my music out there, which it will be coming out in the future. But sports production, YouTube channel, uh, I have my podcast, which is Mike for Success. Love for you guys to check it out. Actually, it's kind of like this behind the scenes of industries and giving you guys more insight on professionals in the industry and what they can provide you to get your foot in the door into that industry. So what I'm getting on next is the director of the Lakers, which is also my boss. So Jerry, who does a Lake show, love you guys to go check it out. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, and uh, the link is also down below. Give you guys some more insight in the future. So go like and subscribe. You, know, you guys know what to do and I'll see you guys next time.